aggravating. It should have stopped in 1975. I know the world was different, but come on. Was it that yeah. different that a student reports a sexual assault to his coach and nothing happens to the doctor? And unfortunately, I think that the world is evolving and changing, and it was very different in 1975. And the University of Michigan is complicit in what happened at, at the most fundamental levels. Um, there is no way that um, a complaint like this should be just dismissed out of hand like it's your fantasy to have an affair or something or whatever with your um, your doctor that's supposed to be a world-renowned sports medicine doctor. This is the most appalling story, um, and it, it, it's going to be difficult for the victims in this case, given the amount of time that's lapsed and the fact that, that Dr. Anderson is now deceased, unfortunately. So I am going to follow this story very closely. Yeah, 35 years' worth of, of victims out there. Uh, Michael Sterling, everybody knew. All the athletes knew. I mean, and the way it's been described is when a, a freshman athlete would arrive on campus, oh, yeah, wait till you go see the doc. He's going to give you the business. Like, everybody knew. So don't tell me uh, that the people at the school didn't know. They all knew. Yeah, Vidi, and, and this is one of the most unfortunate things in our society. And and I wish I could say things were, were you know, at a, at a point where they were significantly changing. Uh, but they're changing all too slow. But you only have somewhere between 15 to 35 percent of sexual assaults and rapes that are being reported. And many reasons are people don't they don't think they're going to be believed. They don't know who to report it to. They feel shame. They don't want to uh, report it uh, uh, for fear of retaliation. There are just so many reasons that sexual assault and rape are underreported. I mean, we have a Supreme Court justice who sits on a Supreme Court, the highest court in the land, making decisions when he had credible allegations of an attempted rape by Christine Blasley Ford uh, uh, proffered against him, and now he's on the United States Supreme Court. So she certainly wasn't believed. And it just remains a part of our society that, unfortunately, victims of rape and sexual assault just aren't believed. And, and it's just, it's disturbing. I, I Leslie, think that he's a our, bit. He's, go ahead. Who, who's going to jump in there? I know. I was going to say. I, I think that things have changed a, a lot now. I, 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 um, I, you know, time's up, and uh, I think that we're hearing about more of these stories now than we had in the past. I mean, if you think about what happened at Michigan State, if you think of what happened at Penn State, you think it's just those three schools? You think it was just in the Big Ten? You know, it was at well, it was at USC out here in California. I'll tell you that. And I know it was at other schools as well. I'm sure of it. And so I think that now people are feeling more comfortable sharing their voice and speaking up because of what some brave women and men did before them. And so I'm hoping that things have changed a little bit. And, but we're going to find out a lot more about a lot more universities, I fear.